Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to draw the pawn for our chess set. I'm going to draw the base first, and it's going to be the same base for all the pieces. So let's start with a sketch on the top plane, and to normalize view, P to turn off the planes. And I'm going to use the same base for all of them, so let's make it kind of simple. Uh, one inch diameter here, it's the same diameter as our squares for the, uh, the board that I showed you how to draw. So when you 3D print it, you might want to make it a little bit smaller. You can change then your uh, slicer settings. And I do want this to have a little bit of a step there, so I'm going to draw two circles, check mark, and with anything that we are going to 3D model, you draw your 2D sketch first, and then you use one of these features up here in Onshape. I'm just going to use a uh, common extrude. I'll extrude the whole thing up, let's say 0.2, enter, check mark, and then in Onshape it turns off the sketch once you use it. I'm going to turn it back on and just choose my inner circle now. Let's extrude that guy, 0.25. So now the total height of my uh, base here is 0.25, and I can use this for all of uh, the pieces. Now for the uh, pawn, I'm going to use the revolve. So sketch, right plane, and to normalize view, well, that's sideways. Well, let's rotate that. Now, whenever you use a revolve, you need to have what's called a uh, revolve axis. So I'm going to draw a construction line from here, straight vertically up, and I'll make it 1.5 inches tall, and that'll be the total height of my entire uh, pawn. And now I'm going to draw a circle, click on the axis, and click up top, and I'll make this 0.5. This is actually how you draw any sphere. You draw a circle on a revolve axis, and you'll be able to draw a full sphere. So the top of the pawn, I'm going to have a diameter of 0.05, and then let's draw a line going down connecting to here. Now to connect to here, I need to use the Use button. And that's going to project that feature onto my sketch plane. So it's going to just be a line on the plane. It's not a circle, but now it's something that I can actually click and uh, work with. So line, now let's have that there to there, and let's define some characteristics of that line. So let's say we want this angle to be uh, 75 degrees, and let's say this point from there to there is uh, 0.1. Now I have a defined uh, line there, and I can work off of that. Let's add that little neck piece on the pawn. It's called a ruff. I had to look that up. R-U-F-F. -F. Zoom in here. I'm going to use the extension line, so I moused over that so that I can actually have those constraints just kind of happen automatically, and I'm going to pull that out. Hit escape. If I actually want this dimension to be the defined one. Uh, let's say it's 0.25. Let's define our height from there to there. Let's make it 0.075. And now I'm going to uh, fillet these corners, it's called, rounding them. So from there to there, uh, it went in 0.025. Yep, that looks good to me. Now let's do that again. Click, enter, right? It repeats our command just by hitting enter out. And now let's trim things away. We don't need the back of the circle anymore or any of these guys. We also don't need anything on the inside here or that. This is undefined and that's bothering me. You should always define your sketches completely. So whatever that value is, I'm just going to hit enter. All right. So now we're almost ready to revolve this. Uh, you do need a closed shape to revolve though. So we are going to draw a line going down from there to there. Now it's gray. That means it's a, a closed shape in on shape. And now I can revolve it. So I'm going to hit check mark. And then the revolve feature is right there. I'll click on that. And now it's asking for revolve axis. I'll click there and check, right? Merge with all, it's merging with our base. There's most of the pawn. I'm going to do a little bit more here. Uh, let's, uh, just like before, you can fill it and curve things. So I'll, let's curve that part and that part just to clean it up a little bit, add a little overhang. I'm making it a uh, one eighth radius, check mark. And now I have something that I can uh, 3D print and looks like a pawn. Good luck, have fun.